That's one thing I don't like. I don't like getting angry. So I did a video a few seconds ago. It's called Cash Cause Set Cause Chai Said So. Uh, or something like that. So Chai Global I was talking about cash money. Reminded me of my grandmother who tried to buy a car a long time ago for five thousand dollars. Told her she couldn't buy a car in cash, blah 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 blah. Let me make this fast. So I do this video about how when you use your ATM card, you're constantly being charged. What's the difference between when you go in there with your ATM visa or whatever and they ask you uh, cash or debit? What's the difference? One tracks your um your buying and the other one charges you too much. I cut that short air abbreviated and messed it up. It angers me when I talk 10 minutes and the 10 minutes wasn't long enough because I got cut short. So I call it a day and I go back and the video won't upload. Now, I'm doing it on a damn web camera. It's kind of funny when you talk about certain things or you're talking about certain kinds of people or certain people or whatever the case may be. If your video makes any sense and it's profound, it shut you down. A lot of people think that sometimes when you're doing your videos and you're saying what you're saying, you get cut off, you did it. That's not the case. I did a whole entire video about how you should use your cash instead of your credit card. You know what I mean? Debit or credit? Debit might charge you 45 cents, like I said. Last week, I got a little change, a little money, and, um, you know, I use my card, and I use my card, and I use my card, and I'm like, out of all the money I spent, okay, $80 was fucking using my card. I don't have a free $80 for nobody. Free $80 for nobody. Now, you go to this ATM, it's $2. You go to that ATM, it's $3. You go to this one, I'm telling you, whenever you use your card, they charge you extra amount of money. Go to the store, and I'm going to say it like I did in the last video. And when they cut this one short, if they cut this one short, I swear the next 100 videos will be all about changing the economy so it better fits the people. You know what I'm saying? Next one, if you don't let this video up, the next 100 videos will be on one, one thing. Changing the way people spend their money. Let me finish, damn it. Go to the store. If you want to buy a flat panel TV and that TV costs $369, go to this bank after you get how much it's going to cost after taxes. Write it down. Go to the bank and take out exactly what you need for that damn TV. Don't charge it. Charge it and for what? Well, $349, $369 TV on a charge card is more like $489, uh, $689, $789, you know, you go charge, go charge that, that 32 inch color on sale for $249, mm, $249, what a steal, and when you finish paying that credit card off, matter of fact, Get one credit card, buy one item on it, pay the minimum and pay it off. And you tell me if that $369 TV was worth that $4,000 you paid for. Wake up, people. Find out how much your purchase is going to cost. Go to the bank, remove that, and go purchase your stuff. That's it. Start using cash again. Because these credit card companies, they're not as big as the banks. Pick one or two. Lesser of two evils is the bank. I'm sorry. I'll be blatantly honest. The bank or the credit card. The lesser of two evils is the bank. If your money is sitting in an institution you don't like, the least you can do is be smart enough not to use that little flimsy ass piece of plastic they give you and they charge you three to five dollars or more if you at some sporting event just to use the card to get your money to spend. How stupid are you as a fucking people to pay to use your own money and get pissed off when you can't balance your checkbook? See you understand what I'm saying? Use that ATM. My son needed $20 the other day. 
$23.45. All I needed was $20. I didn't need $23.45. See what I'm saying? And that is what they went from 25 cents to whatever. You know what I mean? So um, find out how much your purchase costs. Go to the bank. Remove that money. Get your extra 5 or $10 for something to eat on the way home. You know? And call it a day. Don't buy that extra insurance unless you don't trust them. Unless you know you're going to be able to utilize it on that TV you charge. If you charge it, get the extra insurance. Because odds are you paying too much and if it breaks down, you can force them because um, credit card companies don't like paying for shit that don't work. They like to make sure, okay, you bought it now and don't work. Okay. You, we will stop payment on shit. And then shit goes in the whack. Look, I'm not going to talk for 10 minutes because they screwed me last time I did that. The moral of the story is Chai Global was talking about money. Reminded me of my grandma trying to buy a car in cash. And the moral of the story is this. When you're using cash, you can't, there is no hidden cost with cash. You know what I mean? The money's not in your bank on Friday. There's no $45 charge and you still got to pay for the property that you have. You know what I mean? Come on. It's stupid. You can't keep on falling for this credit signing agreements and shit that make no sense and don't benefit the people so um cash because Chai said so um I'm sorry Chai Global I couldn't talk about the healthcare thing I said that in the last video I explained it but I can't do that so well let me finish watching CSI and clean up the house and all that stuff at the time I gotta go but no more videos today. Got lots of work to do. See you later.